my channel. Thank you so much for being here. Today I have a haul. It's a collective haul. I've been collecting this stuff for about three months and I have a bunch of clothes that I got in my P.O. box from a really special lady. She sent me so many cool pieces so I'm going to be showing you all of those as well. But I'll start off with today's finds. I went to the thrift store and I found some killer pieces. The overall theme of this haul is 50s and retro and I feel like I've really been honing into that style wise so I'm just really psyched to show you the pieces and I'm going to start off with this amazing little blazer slash little coat. The brand is Banana Republic and it is the most epic velvet color. I love this color so much. It has these little bedazzled like jeweled um, buttons, which is a little bit extra and over the top, and I just love it. It's just so glamorous, so luxurious. It kind of reminds me of something that I could see on the runway, something from YSL, and I'm just really into it, and I adore this color so, so much. I adore the way that it fits. It's not too big. It, like, fits my shoulders perfectly, and it cuts off at a nice length right before my waist, and the pockets are really cool. It just has a really nice vintage vibe, and I just really enjoy it. It rubs me the right way. Like, I don't even know what it is about it, but I just look at it and I just feel like I understand. I don't know, it's, it's, it's weird. It's a spiritual connection, but it's just everything that I have ever imagined or wanted to be fashion-wise manifested in one piece. And I really, really like these buttons. I just got a pair of earrings that look similar to this. They're a little bit dangly. I've been really into, like, glamorous, kind of over-the-top looking looks, but they still look costumey and they're still fun and they're still retro. By the end of this haul, after I put everything in my closet, I'm really just going to feel like my closet is a kid's dress-up chest. There's so many wild pieces, but I'll show you guys this other blazer that I got. I did a video on it already, but this is just a nice maroon blazer, and what is this made out of? 80% cotton, velvet, and 20% rayon. This is just going to be a classic piece. I'm probably going to wear it more so in the fall. It's already getting warmer in New York. I mean, the weather is really bipolar, but it has been getting warmer, and this has been nice to throw over because it is rather light. Whenever I wear this, I feel like a musician. I feel like I write music, and I feel kind of androgynous when I wear this as well. Yeah, I want to find matching pants. I really want to have a matching pantsuit, so this is the first piece. Today, I also found these really cool pants. These fit so well. I was really delightfully surprised. They have a little bit of elastic on the back, they're high-waisted, and there's a nice zipper. But I really like this color, you know, a nice navy blue, and they're super comfortable, and I live for pants like these, man. Okay, I found this really cute slip today. This is from Victoria's Secret, the brand Victoria's Secret, and it kind of reminds me of a little flapper style with the bottom. This thing is so cute. I really love this salmon-y pink color, you know, and you can wear pink and still be a badass. Don't be afraid of that color. Don't let society's ideas about blue and pink ruin your wardrobe, I guess. I don't know what I'm saying. It's midnight. That's why I'm wearing I'm wearing my Christian Dior nightgown because I'm about to go to sleep after this, but um, yeah, so I'm a little scattered brain right now. But next piece is probably the best thing that I've ever found. My favorite thrifted piece ever, might I say. It's amazing. Are you guys ready for it? Here's the gorgeous, lovely, and beautiful one piece that I found today. This, ugh, oh, it's everything, everything that I could have ever asked for and wanted. First of all, this fabric, this pattern is so bright and vibrant and happy. And the flowers, I love how they're bigger on the bottom and they get smaller as you go up. I really, really like just that little attention to detail. The buttons on the back of the straps are also another favorite of mine. And I feel like if I needed to, I could make this smaller by adding a little um, buttonhole and it also has a nice support which is really important for me so these are like really nice and structured I mean I'm sure you can tell by the front they're nice little <laughs> cups in there this thing fits me so well I was so shocked and surprised because I thought you know for sure I found such a cute piece but for sure it would need some tailoring of some sort but no it fits so so nicely and of course it's a one piece there's some little shorts underneath and this just screams the 50s to me. It's like a nice, modest bathing suit. It's just really vibrant and happy. And I can't wait to wear this with some pearl earrings and some white cat eye sunglasses. Next, I found this really cool scarf. I have a neck scarf that was my mom's. I wear it all the time. It's brown and red and green, has some really cool patterns in it. And I've just been wearing it way too much. And so I was really happy when I found this one. It has similar colors. These colors, I just feel like, for me, are very easy to style and mix and match with other things in my closet. And to go with this, I found these really cute sunglasses, and I feel like they look good together. Let me know what you guys think. Let me check myself out. 
Oh yes, oh yes. So these are the retro vibes that I have been channeling recently and I just feel like I found the pieces that I was looking for to complete some of um, my up and coming looks. But yeah, this is great. It's going to be very well used. I'm really happy about it. I can actually also wear this as a bandana of some sort. I never ever ever do this but I feel like it might be cute to do a look with this as a bandana. I got these really cute, adorable kitten heels. I have been on the hunt for these. I've seen them a lot online, but I just haven't wanted to like invest a good amount of money on them. These were $5. I just really like the cutout edges. And they're a nice satin heel. These were handmade. They were a size 8.5. I'm usually like an 8 to an 8.5, but I can also fit into some 7.5s. These are going to be my shoes of the springtime. I Oh, I just love them. They are very classy. They are very reminiscent of the 50s, and I'm into it. You know, 50s, was it a good time for women? Maybe not. Was it a good time in fashion? I think so. I really appreciate everything that went on fashion-wise during that time. But yeah, these are so cute. I'm going to be wearing these with dresses and with little sheer socks with some detailing on them. The last thing that I got today was this really awesome camera bag. It says Kodak Movie Tote. And this is just going to be very functional. On the inside, let me show you, it has a nice fur material on the inside and a big pocket so I can fit my Sony Next 3 in here, that's what I film with. I also have a little Sony Cyber Shot and it's a smaller silver camera and I'll be able to fit that in here. Both chargers, my phone, my phone charger, and maybe some snacks. So this was just such a good investment and I'm so happy that I found it and this also looks like it's in really good condition, you know, it's like totally unscuffed, unmarked. I love the dark leather. I feel like this is faux leather. It's really soft um, and really light, so I don't know. Some things that I bought a few weeks ago is this purse. I showed you guys this in my most recent styling video, I think, but it's just really cute and really special. I think that I'm going to try and make a long strap because I realized that these aren't functional in my life because it's kind of awkward for me to have to hold a purse like this or hold it around my elbow. I just don't like that. So I'm going to try and make one out of um, a really nice nude fabric or a white fabric, something satin or something, and maybe braid it, add some beading, and then tie that to this strap and like make it nice and long. So yeah, I'm going to try and make myself a long strap for this bag so that I can use it and it can be like a nice party bag a nice bag to use when I go on a walk and it's not so like high maintenance if you can call this high maintenance I just am very aware of it on my arm so the last thing that I purchased myself is this little mug it says you owe it to yourself I think this is amazing I love the message I love the font I love the color of it I don't drink coffee I feel like this would be a good little coffee cup if you don't want to drink too much I drink tea and when I drink tea these are the kind of mugs that I drink it in because I am a tea fiend. Mm. I'm drinking ginger tea. I've been drinking it a lot because it tastes good. It's good for your health, good for your digestion. I definitely believe in the power of tea and herbal medicine. Yeah, I really like it. So everything else that I'm going to show you in this video I got from a beautiful, wonderful lady and her name is Carolyn Butch. She sent me all this stuff in my P.O. box and I was so surprised. Like. The package was just full of clothing and I was like, shit, like I literally thought it was bubble wrap with something in the middle but it was just packed with clothing, so dense. And she also sent me this really cute card and she was just so sweet. So her Etsy is Soho Kid Vintage and her Insta is also Soho Kid Vintage. Um, I'm guessing she was born and raised in New York. She also drew a bunch of cute animals on here and the packaging had so many amazing designs on it. So thank you so much for all of this. Let's just start off with the dresses. She sent me two amazing dresses. The first one is what really inspired my purchase of those kitten heels, these guys over here. I've been wanting these, but then when I got this dress, I was like, I need to get these now. This is like a beautiful, long black velvet Audrey Hepburn dress. It's really simple, it's long, and it hugs me in the right places. I'm just obsessed with it. I really want to find some white satin gloves to wear with this. I'll wear it with my pearl strand and some cat eye sunglasses and really recreate an Audrey Hepburn look. Where would I wear this? Where would I wear such an extra look? These pieces make me feel so feminine, but I still feel powerful. I still feel strong as a woman. But the next piece that she gave me is this 
really nice green dress. I don't know what kind of color green this is. Is it a forest green? But it has this tie in the back. It's so long and it just covers everything. It has some slits on the side. But it's just going to be my summer dress because it's really thin and light. Dresses are going to be my absolute summer aesthetic. I know it's going to be so warm, so hot in New York, and I hate wearing pants. And I also don't really like wearing shorts because they just... All these denim shorts, they cut off my circulation and my legs get sweaty. I don't like to sit down on the subway where other people's legs have been. When I have sweaty legs myself, I just feel like that's not a good mix of germs and bodily fluids so yeah that's why I'm excited about just wearing dresses all summer long she also sent me this amazing scarf and it has a globe on it and a perfume bottle which has a crescent moon the colors are also really dope I don't know why but I feel like I'm gonna wear this to a picnic or something where I'm being super extra like this not with this thing not with this nightgown but just wrapped around and use it as like a little like evening scarf with a dress or something like that. She also got me this really really cool shawl. I don't even know what these are called. Wear it around the streets of New York City. I love New York because I feel like I can wear whatever I want and um, I have an audience to like show it off to because everyone is just always in everyone else's business or just likes to look at other people or get inspiration from people and so in New York I just feel like when I hit the streets with a good look on um, I'm kind of walking the catwalk, you know. Next she sent me these velour, like, sweatpants. Um, these are from Gap. They're size medium, but they just look so big. But these I'm probably gonna wear with some heels and a cropped, sleeveless, black turtleneck. Yeah, these are really comfortable too, and they are light and thin, so I'm excited to wear these this spring before it gets too hot. I'm, like, fearing the summertime in New York so bad I keep saying, like, oh, the summer, the spring, we gotta wear these pieces now because... When I moved into my apartment last summer, it was my first summer in New York, and I didn't have AC, and I was sweating so much. My friend was staying with me, and we wouldn't move or talk because we were so hot, and we would just be covered in sweat, and we would just be so excited to take showers because that would be such great relief. I mean, I got an AC machine like three weeks after, but I had like three weeks of a really hot, <sighs> deadly warm New York City apartment experience and I'll never forget it. I'm kind of traumatized from it. But yeah, um, New York City summers can be a bitch. These are nice and I'm gonna wear them before before that um, heat wave comes. She also sent me these super badass pants. I don't know if they're gonna fit. I haven't tried them on yet and I really like the zippers on them. I feel like I'm gonna wear these to um, a rock show. I usually go to this one concert or festival um, called Shindig. It's every year in August in Baltimore and there's just a lot of really cool bands there. They'll be a good addition to my closet. The next pair of pants she gave me were these striped ones. These are a nice pair of trousers. I haven't tried these on yet either. I'm really hoping that they fit nicely. Well, I love the um, fabric by the pocket and these I'm going to style in a 60s manner. I am just so excited. I know I'm going to wear these so much. They're um, nice and like boot cut at the bottom, just a little bit flared and they're stretchy and lightweight and so these are just perfect. Yeah, I feel like these could be the next victim of my um, pant obsession. And then lastly, she got me this little bucket hat, which is so cute. I feel like a little hipster witch when I wear this. It's just really sweet. I feel like I should go garden but also cast some spells, pick some herbs to put in a little potion. And I think it would be dope to wear with really cool sunglasses and do a little photo shoot with it. And I just really love all the velvet pieces. I'm excited to wear them right now and also next fall and winter. Thank you so much once again, Carolyn. But I was so happy. Like that, that was my first package that I've ever gotten for myself in my P.O. box from someone who watches my videos and her letter was so sweet and it just really warmed my heart. Thank you for watching this video. I know it's been a little bit since I did a haul. I'm also filming a lookbook styling a lot of these pieces and that will be up on Monday. So yeah, thank you for being here and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. Put your head on my shoulder.